<laughs> you. Ah, uh, you. <laughs> go, go, go. You got. Come my way Waking fright, lady Christ Fuck with my eyes What's up? What's going on? Welcome to uh, day number two uh, with our student from California. Uh, today we're going to be working on her volleys. Uh, we've actually already done that, but going back in time here to welcome you to the video. Uh, most of the focus on her volleys was, was centered around touch and feel. She's had very typical approach to volleys, which is very, very heavy-handed, very tense, very tight. And so most of our focus was centered around getting her to relax, open the racket and be soft with it instead of closing the racket and being really direct and really aggressive with it. So you'll see us uh, work through that, work through a bunch of progressions related to that. And honestly, like not very different from yesterday's video in that yesterday there was a very clear visual kind of progression from net to service line to no man's land to, ba to baseline. This is much, frankly, just slower moving, not as much action, because it's, it's so like, kind of feel and touch based. Hey, Caroline. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, much more nuanced uh, kind of uh, work today, much less obvious. And <clears throat> video really important here. And also keeping things very close quarters and very controlled, also super, super important. A couple more practice ones. I want you to watch visually, just really track your racket going forwards. And in a second, when Megan tosses to you again, you're going to continue that movement out through the point of contact. Excellent, excellent. When the ball's coming, right now Megan's giving you three miles an hour of speed. When the ball's coming at 50 miles an hour, mm -hmm. the racket doesn't have to be nearly as open to get the ball over because there's a lot more en energy hitting your strings. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. And so this gives you, opens the world to you. As long as you're square and flat and direct, you've got one choice. You have one direction, one type of shot you can hit. Once you get to here, you can hit a volley lob, you can hit a drop volley, you can hit a short angle volley, you can close it a bit more and hit right next to the baseline, firm and, and lower, you can hit whatever you want. Mm. But currently it's like you've got one, you've got a hammer and that's it, and you've got no other options. Which is actually yeah, pretty, like, pretty good feel actually, now that she's actually getting into it. What does this feel like to you? Like, this is a totally different kind of volley than you've ever hit before. I'm just wondering, in your own words, what does this feel like? Um, it's almost like an eggshell. Eggshell? She's doing really good with the feel. Yeah, that's right. It's exactly what I just said to Kevin. Eggshell touch. I don't know. I don't think we've ever had a VIP where I, we start and they actually haven't yeah. hit me once. <laughs> 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 Most Megan will toss me a couple. I want you to watch me. It, same, same framework. Uh, turn to your left now, open racket face, and you're just going to give the ball a really soft uh, guide forwards. Uh, so watch me hit a few. Thanks for cleaning up after me. And so my, my tension with my hand is, is really just enough to, to hold the racket upright. And I'm just guiding with my shoulder with the bottom edge of my racket, leading, leading the shot and finishing out in front. Yeah. Most of the last like 10 or 20 that you've hit have all like barely crossed over the top of the net. Would love to see you uh, hit a couple where the ball goes goes up off your strings and then drops down on the other side. Instead of like just opening up ju just enough to, to barely uh, make it over the top of the net. You see, I feel I have it completely open. That's how I feel. Did you record what I just hit by chance? Nice. Remember the volley I, I hit? Mm -hmm. Oh, get out of the way, arm. Mm -hmm. oh, what, are the, what are the chances of that? <laughs> Okay, so, well, so the racket is, is basically at the same right, angle as, right, as my arm, right? right? So we don't see any right. of it. Okay, and so 
Let's take a look at the last couple of shots that you hit. You started pretty open. Yeah, it's actually really similar, but you hit off center, which means you're not going to get the trajectory off the strings that you're supposed to. Let's look at a couple. That was right in line, though. The ball never lies. Like, whatever angle the strings are at, at contact, is exactly what the ball will do off the racket face. And so it's not like it has to be like this, but just a 10 degree difference makes a big right. difference in what the ball does. Right. I, but you would you would have thought feel, you were. <laughs> I feel I'm like this. Yeah. I'll, I'll play with. It happens with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we just played some doubles. Uh, we also did a bunch of work on our volley, which uh, I think you guys saw a bunch of. I think the big, big takeaway there is just kind of more of the same with this kind of coaching, where people's perception of what they're doing just isn't always reality. You saw a little bit of that, where she could have sworn her racket face was at one thing, but it was completely different. Um, so it's just fun to work people through that, that process. We're about to go out for lunch, then we'll do an afternoon session. Thanks for watching. <laughs> see you guys again next week. I don't want to see you come my way. Wake and fright, baby Christ, with my eyes.